What's up guys, welcome back to the Casual Critic YouTube channel. Today we are reviewing Joker that came out in 2019, directed by Todd Phillips. It's got Joaquin Phoenix, Francis, I think her last name is Conrad or Conroy, and Robert De Niro is in it. Um, I'm not going to get into what it's about normally at the beginning of my reviews, I'd say the premise of the movie, but Joker is one of the most iconic characters in movie in any movie, not just superhero or DC. So it's a Joker origin story is basically what this 2019 version is about. Um, my expectations before going in were rather high, I will say. This movie got a ton of hype when it came out, mostly from the bros and the dudes. Okay, they were hyping up this movie, saying it was a masterpiece. So, you know, I believe them. I took their word for it. So my expectations going in, very, very high. I thought it was going to be a masterpiece. That was not the case, okay? We're going to talk about what I thought about the Joker. So, let's talk about what I did like, okay? The acting, uh, insane. Joaquin Phoenix does an amazing job. I think, even if you've seen this movie and you don't think it's a great movie, maybe like I do, um, I think we can all agree that his performance was amazing. Um, I, I know he won the Oscar for this. I don't know if he should have won the Oscar. I don't know. Definitely think he should have been nominated, but the Oscar winning is kind of iffy. Um, but his performance was amazing. His and Frances Conroy, or Conrad, whatever the fuck her name is, they did really good, and Robert De Niro did good. Everyone else involved, uh, like, and there weren't any other really major parts of this movie, but everyone else was just, I didn't just, just shut up, shut up. Um, the writing was pretty good. I thought it was above average for movies. I know this is not a superhero movie, but it's in that kind of world, and it's obviously a DC movie. So I feel like compared to other ones, not including the Batman that just came out, that that is excluded. But the writing in the Joker, I think, is above average for most movies like this. Um, the cinematography was good. I was expecting more. I was expecting... It to look more pretty, more aesthetically pleasing. That's just the vibe that I got. Because I've seen clips and stills from this movie. Because they're everywhere on the internet. Um, so I was expecting it to look a little better. But it didn't look bad. Um, but really where it lacked was the fucking story. Arguably the most important part. Because this movie really shows you that you can have all of the best ingredients for a fantastic movie, okay? The acting can be amazing. The writing can be really good. But if your story is lacking, you ain't got a fucking movie, Mr. Todd Phillips. The first one hour and 20 minutes, minutes of this movie is absolutely insufferable. I was playing fucking Family Feud on my phone, losing 300 coins, because I couldn't think of many right answers. But the first hour and 20 minutes are so fucking boring. You can't just have Joaquin Phoenix walking around being weird, and that's it. Or killing a couple people, okay? It's the Joker, for God's sakes. I, I don't know what the point was. This movie was so disappointing. It there was no points. The first almost hour and a half... This is a two-hour movie, by the way. The first almost hour and a half of this movie is pointless. Or at least that's how it feels. It doesn't feel interesting enough. They'll show you something that's just interesting enough to keep you watching, but then there's like 10 minutes of just Walking Phoenix being weird. And that's not enough. That is not enough. You cannot piggyback off of that, Todd Phillips. This movie has as much depth as other movies by Todd Phillips. And if you don't know what he's directed, he did the Hangover movies. Which, I like the first Hangover. Don't get me wrong. There's not much depth to it. But there doesn't have to be. It's a hee-hee-ha-ha. -ha, okay? But Todd, honey, when you're doing a movie like this. And you're having Joaquin Phoenix act like this. You have to do something with that. Something, something that I can see and be interested in. There is no point. I will say that... The last 40 to 30 minutes of the movie are really good, really interesting. Pacing was good. But before that, the pacing was as good as a fucking 15-minute mile. It was so boring. And it, like, I don't know what it was. It wasn't that I was going into this movie trying to find problems, like, trying to say that the hype was not real. 
over this movie. That's not what I intended to do. But, like, within the first ten minutes or so, I was like, is this how the movie is going to be? Because I already don't care. Like, I just don't care. It, this movie was a waste of time. I did not need to watch it. I don't understand the hype at all. Y'all are... It's like all of it was just... All this hype and hoo-ha about this movie was directed at Joaquin Phoenix's acting. Which, yes, his acting is good. Don't get me wrong. Like, it is so good. And he acts creepy and he acts weird and he does a great job at that but that can't be the movie that's not enough it's not enough for me maybe it's enough for the bros maybe it's enough for the bros but not for me no there has to be something happening and oh my god we had to see what the hell i am so sick and tired of the fucking Bruce Wayne origin story where his parents died in the alley. They got shot by a robber and he was so my parents died. He's left standing there and he's all traumatized. I am so sick and tired of seeing that. And then we get a movie that's about the Joker. It's just about the Joker. Just the Joker. Okay. And we have to see the Bruce Wayne origin story again. Todd, honey, we're tired of it. We are tired of it. I didn't want to see I was appalled that that was in the movie. And that's in the last 30 minutes. And that's one of the... I mean, I like the last 30 minutes. But even in those last 30, there are problems that I had. There were just, like, dull spots. Just dull. And then I have to see that fucking Bruce Wayne origin story. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Okay? Now, everyone's saying, and I agree, that this is very Martin Scorsese inspired. This is a lot like Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver is a whole lot better than this. You'd think if Todd liked Martin Scorsese enough to watch these movies and be inspired by them to make his own kind of thing with a different story, but Martin Scorsese inspired, then he would have picked up a few things from Martin Scorsese. This is boring. Boring, Todd. I don't like you, Todd. I don't like Todd Phillips. Have y'all ever seen Due Date? I couldn't even finish it. I started it. It's on Netflix. It's a Todd Phillips movie. I couldn't even finish it. It was so awful and said such awful... I don't like Todd Phillips. I don't like him. He's wasted my time. He has got me emotionally invested. I was so excited to watch this movie. So fucking excited. I saw it on HBO Max. I just recently got HBO Max. I was like, oh my god, the Joker's on here. Hell, I'm so excited. I'm going to watch that. I'm sitting down to watch that. And you have wasted my Saturday afternoon, Todd. I didn't need to watch it. So that's my, uh, that's my opinion of, uh, Joker. I got kind of heated. This movie pissed me off. It could have been so great. It could have been a masterpiece. It could have been up there with the Batman, in my opinion. It had what it needed to be. And it just did not get there. Because the story was shit. So, yeah. That's why I thought about the Joker. My official... Rating is 2.5 out of 5. And fuck you, Todd Phillips. And that's included in my review. Fuck you, Todd Phillips, for doing that to me. So, if you've seen this movie, I know a lot of people who've seen this movie really like it. Sorry. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. I would love to have a hearty debate on why you think it's good. Or if you think it's bad, I would also like to know if you agree with me. Because I feel like we people against the Joker 2019 need to stand up. And do what's right. And say that it was a shit movie. Because it was. And it was a waste of time. So that's my review of The Joker. Go down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about it. And if you go to the description box, you'll find my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok. I've got good content. I've got a lot of behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check that out. I've also got a podcast called The Casual Critic that comes out every Saturday. It's on Anchor, Spotify, and Apple. So go check that out. And if you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You're really missing out. It's honestly in your best interest to subscribe. Did you know 60% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed? That's a fucking unacceptable number. That is a very high number. That's over half. So if that subscribe button is red, it's wrong, false, bad mistake. Go ahead and click that and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next review. Hopefully, it will be better than this one.